I'm AshmeelTwelve.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the blob data type to store images in a database and then I'm going to also show you how to retrieve that image from a database um, to be shown on a page. So what I'm going to first show you is the database first of all. Um, this is the database structure. I've just got a, uh, a table, well a database called tutorial, yours will be called whatever. Um, the table name is called blob, yours might be called images or something. Um, and in this I've got an ID which is auto increment and a primary key. Um, I've got the name which is varchar and 30 characters long and the image which is of a data type of blob. Okay so here is the page I've just have a simple upload form here which um, doesn't do anything at the moment so if I just go to the code um, here's the code it's just basically a form that uh, form that comes back on itself um, obviously I'm in type because we're dealing with files um, the a file input called image and just a submit button okay so now on to some code so some PHP in here, what I'm going to first do is do a quick um, check to see if the submit button has been pressed. So if is set dollar underscore post submit um, and then what we want to do is connect to the database. Um, so you would probably um, have this in an external file but just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to leave it here. But you would normally do something like a um, require um, dbc.php or connect or something like that. Um, but I'm just going to stick with this just for this tutorial. So um, root127, okay. And the database was called tutorial, I think. Um, yeah, I think it was tutorial. Um, so now what we want to do is get the image name so we can put this in the database. So mysql underscore real underscore escape string. Anything that goes into a database or is queried or you query a database, um, basically put some protection around it, which mysql real escape string does provide some protection from MySQL injection. Um, so what we want to do is dollar underscore files image and the name. If you're not too familiar with file uploading, um, the dollar underscore files files variable, um, the first um, array in that is called the image, which is called what we called it up here in the file upload and we called the name image there so that's what goes in there and the name is another array within the image array so it's a multi-dimensional array and the name is basically the name if you do print underscore r and then put in there dollar underscore files with just the image in there then you will get another load of arrays within that array um, and you can see where name we get name from. But I'm not going to show you that. Um, so now, well, that gets the name. So now what we need to do is get the image data. Um, so mysql underscore um, start underscore files image. Um, and we need the TMP underscore name in there. And um, that's basically the TMP, um, the temporary name, what's given when it's stored in a temporary directory. Um, but first, but around this, so around the mysql underscore string, we need the file underscore get content, because this will now get the content of the file. Um, so basically, if you've got a text file with, say, hello world in there and um, this will um, the image data will then return hello world because we're dealing with an image it will get basically the image data um, 
So we can't. So if I say, if I just echo out now, image data, um, and then come back here, refresh page, and upload a file. So if I upload this, we get a load of rubbish up here because this is basically the image, but HTML. Well, the, yeah, HTML. Um, it doesn't really know how to interpret images or image data into an image. So we have to then give it a header in PHP later on to actually tell the browser this is an image um, and show it. Um, okay, so that's basically that. Just ignore that jargon for now. That's that's working and that's perfectly fine. Um, so now what we need to do is get the image type. Let's move that up a bit. Image type um, and that is basically my score underscore real underscore escape string again and in here we need dollar underscore files image and type now this will basically tell us if well what type it is so basically what we can do is if if um, sub str which basically is su uh, substring, um, so we can pick out what we want from the string. So if we do image type in here, um, and then basically if we put zero and five, um, this will pick out the first five characters of this string. Which, if if it is an image, it will be image. So we can then put equals image and then echo um, working code here else echo only images are allowed this is just a just a quick check basically um, and what we're missing off a uh, semicolon and uh, so basically if we, do, if we just test this out now um, so if I just refresh this page as you can see we get working code because this file I selected was an image if I choose something that's not an image so say um, this text document click upload we get only images are allowed because it is not an image so that's basically just a quick check so now what we can do here if if it is an image we can now insert the image into the database so mysql underscore query insert into uh, blob I call the database, well the table actually um, values I had three in there, the first one was in the ID that's auto increment so we can leave that, the second one was the name so image name and the third was the image so image data can go in there um, so that's all good to go so if I just refresh we'll save this come back out and if I choose a image Upload as you can see it's uploaded fine. What you could do there is put say an echo to say Image uploaded Just like that um, and if we go to the database um, There's the image being put into the database there and um, So now what we need to do is actually show this image so to actually show an image, um, I basically got uh, an empty PHP document here, which is called showimage.php. Um, now basically, you need nothing in this apart from PHP code like I've got here. So as you can see, in HTML, we've got all this HTML um, crap above the top. Um, basically, all this needs to be is nothing but pure PHP. Um, otherwise, this will not work properly. Um, so first, what we need to do is connect to database. So I'm just going to copy this over here just to save a bit of time. Oh, to save a bit of time. Okay, and first of all, we need to get an ID. And the ID, so remember, real escape string. Um, dollar underscore get ID, because we're going to be passing an, um, a get variable to this page. Um, so basically what you could do as a sort of check again just to make sure everything goes smoothly um, if is set dollar underscore get ID and then put your code inside here and um, else 
you could just echo out there um, error or something I don't know um, because you do need this ID in a get variable so if a get variable is not there then you, you, you're going to come out with a, a, an error basically a, a PHP error so you can that's just catching the error there so you don't get any nasty errors um, so now we're just going to create a query variable here which actually just queries the database for the image so my screen has got a query so select all from blob um, where id is equal to the id that was passed um, so now we can just get this data now so row equals you could probably use the MySQL underscore result function for this as um, you're only going to be getting one, like just the image. But this is just the way I prefer to get data from a database using a while loop um, and the MySQL fetch associative array function. Okay, so in this, we need the image data from the database. So that's from the row and um, the image image um, field in there so now what we need to do now is header and this basically content dash type image forward slash jpeg this basically tells the browser now that this um, this page um, is an image basically so that's why we need nothing else in this apart from um, just pure PHP basically so using this you see how we've got JPEG here so obviously if you've got a PH PNG or GIF or whatever other image file in the database then it will not be shown so maybe what you can do is when uploading um, get to the type sort like what we did before but sort of different um, get the file extension of the file and then upload that to the database as well and then when retrieving it here you can then just put something like image type in there get the image type and then just uh, put the image type in a variable here um, to actually say to the to actually make it more dynamic because at the moment only we've hard coded just JPEGs to be allowed so that's one thing you could think of is making it dynamic for other images. Okay, so now all we need to do is echo out um, the image data and that should be good to go. So now if we just, so basically we don't touch this page, we don't actually navigate to this page in the browser. If you now, if you want to view, view the image basically anywhere on a page, so if I just come out down here, um, we're not there. Um, here for example um, if you want to actually view an image basically you have to get the, get the ID of the image first so and then what you do is in image in an image tag basically all you do is put show images or the name of that page show image PHP and then the ID and then the ID of the image goes in here so thinking I was it was was it, was it six I'm not too sure we'll see we'll soon find out so now if we just refresh this page we'll not submit in refresh we get this image up here now obviously I entered the ID wrong here and um, let me just have a check um, it was actually 7 in the database so if I just change this to 7 and then refresh we should now when we refresh we should see that image obviously we don't want to resend there we go there's the image there being shown up there and that's basically how to store images as blob and then retrieve it from the database and um, show it in a browser so basically this show image show image page see how we get error because um, no ID is in there if we put an ID of 7 ID 7 there as you can see the image shows up but this is basically just no source. Um, you can't view any source because there's no source code of an image. If you know what I mean, basically, what this does is converts 
the page into an image, if you know what I mean. So when you sort of see um, in the URL at the top here, like the image name .jpg, this is basically what it's doing in in a way. It's just not showing it as .jpg in the URL. Okay, so I hope this helps, and um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.